Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another quick keto update. Now I know that I look an absolute wreck today. The pure reason is because I actually have a stomach bug at the moment. Only came on today so I'm not exactly sure what it is but that's why I look this gloriousness that you see before you. But I figured the day must go on. I still have two kids to look after. My partner was very kindly looking after them this morning for me when everything kicked off. But this afternoon kind of figured you've still got kids you still got a life to lead <laughs> so crack on so yeah um I'm not exactly sure what's going on with my body right now it's been a little bit all over the place because I still haven't lost anything even though I have been good as gold on keto to be totally honest I haven't been cheating I've been tracking everything I've been absolutely fine but bearing in mind that I am due on, sorry, too much information, but I am due on on Wednesday. And since having a baby, everything's been a bit out of whack. So I have a feeling that I might just come on a bit earlier because that tends to happen when I'm about, when I'm stalling or if I gain anything, it tends to be just before I start. So I'm expecting that to come up, um, <laughs> which is just great. Uh, yeah, so this week has been quite tricky. It's been a long week, as it always is, being a parent in lockdown. Um, but we did have to take my daughter into hospital yesterday. She's absolutely fine. I'm not really going to discuss it, but we went in, had a couple of hours there, and she is absolutely fine, and I'm fine, but I have a feeling that that's where I picked up the stomach bug, so we're keeping an eye on everything for that, which is not the most exciting thing. Um... We've got, um, I'm trying to think of what to say. Yeah, notice I haven't got my glasses on, even though I haven't got my lashes on or my makeup done. It's purely because I busted my glasses. <laughs> I was on WhatsApp doing a video chat with my grandma and my daughter. So obviously my grandma was the other side. And I had my glasses on the floor next to me because I had my lashes on then and my partner stood on them. So we've broken my glasses. I've got the optician on Tuesday. I'm going to get rechecked because my eyes are deteriorating. And they hopefully will get me a new prescription soon. So my eyes might start going a little bit weird. So I do apologise if that happens. My partner notices it a lot more than anybody else does. <laughs> um, but I have recorded myself like really close up to my eyes. And I have noticed that it is actually true. I do have wandering eyes and it's kind of creepy to watch up close. So I'm hoping it doesn't happen right now. I'm really trying to focus on the camera so that it doesn't happen if I look away. <laughs> um... So yeah, my tip for the week would probably be um, about obviously having a stomach bug, keeping it relevant to my current life. So normally when I have a stomach bug before keto, I would literally just eat a couple of crackers at a time, maybe two crackers every four hours, and I would have lemonade for electrolytes. Now, obviously being on keto, that isn't a possibility. So it's made it quite tricky for me because I have done that ever since I was about two years old and able to eat crackers and drink lemonade myself um <laughs> so it's been a bit of an experience <laughs> it's been a bit of a funny day so how I am handling mine and how I can recommend you handle yours obviously I'm not a doctor or a medical professional in any way so if you are concerned see them talk to them talk to a pharmacist if you need to but if you are like me and you're kind of like my life needs to go on just get over it and deal with it I have been taking my electrolytes as normal. I've taken a little bit more water than normal and some um, coffee just to kind of keep my energy going. I know coffee isn't great for a stomach bug, but I do use decaf anyway. And personally, I can't function without my coffee. I haven't had as much coffee as I normally would. Um, I've only had like two cups today. I normally, if I'm having decaf, will have three or four just to keep me going it makes me feel energized even though I'm not energized with caffeine but caffeine never worked for me um I'm eating chicken and broccoli because that's what my partner kind of recommended was to have chicken and rice obviously we can't have rice so I'm having broccoli and that seems to be working for me and yeah that's pretty much all my recommendation for that keep taking paracetamol and your multivitamins and whatever else you take and if you have a concern just talk to your doctor about it that's really it um yeah so let me know in the comments down below how you're getting on on your journey how you're getting on in lockdown I'm sorry to keep this so short but as i say it is the evening and we've just put my kids down so i need to clean up all the mess that's behind here which will be very fun and take me like the whole night <laughs> but 
yeah, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors as much as you can. You don't have to, but obviously, please do to stop this all kicking off again, please. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.